how MQ-9 Reaper drone works. Welcome to the U.S. Defense System channel. In this episode, you'll see some fascinating details about the MQ-9 Reaper drone. The MQ-9 Reaper is an unmanned aerial vehicle capable of remotely controlled or autonomous flight operations developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, primarily for the United States Air Force. It provides a unique capability to perform strike, coordination, and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. The USAF proposed the MQ-9 Reaper system in response to the Department of Defense directive to support initiatives for overseas contingency operations. A typical MQ-9 system consists of multiple aircraft, a ground control station, communications equipment, maintenance spares, and personnel. A military flight crew includes a pilot, a sensor operator, and a mission intelligence coordinator. The aircraft is powered by a 950 horsepower turboprop with a maximum speed of about 260 knots and a cruising speed of 150 to 170 knots. The drone has six external suspension points with a payload of up to 1,361 kilograms. The types of weapons that MQ-9 Reapers can be equipped with include, first of all, systems such as the AGM-114 Hellfire missiles, which are already successfully used on Predators. These are guided, air-to-ground missiles designed to hit armored, lightly armored, and other targets that require precise strikes. Another weapon is the GBU-12 Paveway-2 system that's a high-precision air bombs based on the classic MK-82 bombs, weighing 227 kilograms and equipped with a laser guidance system. The MQ-9 Reaper can also use GBU-38 Joint Direct Attack Munitions, a long-known JDAM bomb. The GBU-38 version is the lightest version, so it's suitable for use by drones. JDAM bombs have a control selection and are aimed at the target using GPS and an inertial system. Finally, it can also use GBU-54 laser ammunition systems that combine JDAM accuracy with laser pointers. These bombs can also attack moving targets. As you can see, the military has a choice that depends on the specific task. The MQ-9 baseline system carries the multi-spectral targeting system, which has a robust suite of visual sensors for targeting. The MTSB integrates an infrared sensor, color monochrome daylight TV camera, image intensified TV camera, laser designator, and laser illuminator. The full motion video from each of the imaging sensors can be viewed as separate video streams or fused. The remotely piloted aircraft can be disassembled and loaded into a single container for deployment worldwide. The entire system can be transported in the C-130 Hercules or larger aircraft. The MQ-9 aircraft operates from standard U.S. airfields with a clear line of sight to the ground data terminal antenna which provides line-of-sight communications for takeoff and landing. The PPSL provides over-the-horizon communications for the aircraft and sensors. The primary concept of operations, remote split operations, employs a launch and recovery ground control station for takeoff and landing operations at the forward operating location, while the crew based in continental United States executes command and control of the remainder of the mission via beyond line-of-sight links.